Okay, Brian, I've uh, got uh, a boiler here that's brand new that I'm just uh, going to run for the first time. Um, so uh, what I've got here is wood and kindling, paper, things like that to start the fire. And the hand pump is in a bucket of water because you want to have that going on. Uh, you want to have the water sight glass halfway up with water right here. And you, you know, just plug your hose in here, turn this valve on, and uh, that. Don't worry about any of this other stuff at all. Gauge, as you can see, is at zero. Um, Pop-off valve, you know, yours is there, and whistle over there. Uh, then, this is the airlock for the pump. So if you have air in the pump, it won't pump water. So you got to get that out of there and what you do is you just pump it a few times and you bring water up into the pump and through here and then once it's coming out of the airlock valve with solid water you know everything that you pump now goes into the boiler when it's low when it gets down to about you know here you know below half then you want to start putting water into it but that will also cool off the steam so you need to have a roaring fire going to you know keep the steam up and i started with just um, two large pieces like you would on a campfire one on each side your kindling and paper in the center and then small wood on top of that will get you a good fire and somebody needs to tend it you know all the time because it goes through a lot of water and paper anyway that's about all for now and then once you build up steam pressure up to you know whatever you want uh, anywhere from 25 to 100 pounds uh, on your boiler uh, outside then just uh, connect your piping to the uh, out uh, valve the, on the back of your boiler and then you know you want your engine to run someplace in here probably pretty you know, you don't want it all wide, wide open. But, you know, you can regulate the speed of the engine right here. And this just goes right to the engine. And the oiler has to be on there, of course, too. Everything else on the boiler uh, should not need any attention. Like, these valves should be open already. That's the way I sent it. These should be off, the tricocks. Uh, if you want to use the um, blower, it's right there, but it's not needed, needed at all. And your, uh, you have a, a, a proven a pop-off valve or pressure release valve. I know it works, so I didn't include this valve. Of course, you don't want a valve on there when you have it. And the whistle, you just you know pull the handle when you've got steam pressure up. You'd need about. Oh, 50 pounds of steam pressure to make the whistle sound correct. You know, you could do it for less, but it doesn't sound as nice. Uh, the other thing about this down here is this is the ash pan. And you, I always keep it open an inch or so. Anyway, that's about it. And then I guess... Uh, you know, you want to fire it up outdoors before you bring it in to in, inside the building. And you should have a lot of pressure, and, you know, like 100 pounds or so of boiler pressure to run that engine. And um, that's the way, that way that it'll slowly lose pressure if you're not stoking the fire. Um, and the engine will run down as low as 20 pounds of pressure. So you could even run it at that. 